right, right. and now this is the time of the show. Guys, guys, guys. All right, we're going to turn it over to the music segment now, and we've got a great Elizabeth Gruber. I got an email from your mom, and talk about for your 13th birthday, what did you tell your mom you wanted for you? A special present for your 13th birthday. I wanted to go to Hatton House. <laughs> and specifically, why did you want to be on Hatton House? And I understand singing is your passion. It is. All right. And what song did you pick to make your debut tonight? Zippity Doodah. Zippity Doodah. Let's all give right. it up for Elizabeth. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. It's all yours. Zippity Doodah. 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 Head my way, zippity doo da, zippity a. Oh, Mr. Bluebird on my shoulder. It's the truth. It's satisfaction. Everything is satisfaction. Zippity doo da, zippity a. Wonderful feeling, wonderful day. Excellent job, Elizabeth. Benoit, your first reactions of this talented young singer. <clears throat> well, that was fantastic. High five. Thank you. All right, so Howie said, all right, we're going to have this guest singer. She wants to come on the show, and like, he sent me the link to your video, and I checked it out, and she had a wonderful voice, as you could hear right here. So, um, so how old are you now? I'm 12. 12 years old. Look at that. Everybody clap for that one. <laughs> On the radio, so I think I was at least 20, 21 before I got on the radio, so you're doing great. Um, where, where do you see yourself going in a couple of years? Would you Are you studying music? Do you see yourself as a performer? Well, I've been working a lot with my music teacher, and I think as time goes on, and maybe I could actually put my voice into use. Excellent, excellent. Um, when you're studying music, is it a voice? Are you learning music theory or piano or anything like that? Well, I, we start out at my music lesson with like piano and the vocals, and then I usually choose a song to sing and work on that. So what, who's your teacher? You want to shout out to your teacher? Um, shout out, I forgot her name. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. You That's radio, you well, get a little nervous. Well, you're very thankful, well, right? That's my violin teacher. Well, Okay. Do a shout out for that. Hi, Bianca. <laughs> All right. Hi, Bianca. You're doing a wonderful job with her. Um, also tonight, uh, the musical guests here include uh, Jay Bird, uh, Joanne Phillips. She's um, a multi-instrumentalist and a hearty endorsed artist, among many other things. Uh, she's helped create Long Beach's first rock and roll festival, and we're getting geared up for that. It's in two weeks, October 26th, 27th, and 28th. Uh, mostly taking place at the Long Beach Library, or is it all at the Long Beach Library? Hi, Howie. Thanks for having me on the show. It's always a pleasure to see Monsieur Benoit. Uh, the event takes place only at the Long Beach Public Library this year in the upstairs auditorium. As we said, it's October 26th through 28th. This is the first rock music festival ever to take place in Nassau County on Long Island, and it's rather unique in itself. And we are having some eclectic and different kind of acts there. Awesome. Joanne, um, before the show, you mentioned that uh, there's going to be great talent. Talk about the talent that are going to perform there. I'll put the one, two, who's going to be there. Okay, there are two acts on Friday night. And then the opening act is the Hallie DeVestern Band. Hallie DeVestern was the fabulous front woman and lead vocalist for Big Brother and the Holding Company's touring band out of New York City, we're doing cover tunes and great original music. After her will be Talk of the Town, uh, my friend Mary Beth Cronin, a Long Island-based band. Uh, they are doing a tribute to the Coors and the Pretenders in 80 Music. She will be transforming herself physically into Rick Ocasek from the Coors and Chrissy Hine from the Pretenders. So this is not a, just a feast for the ears, but a visual for the eye as well. Saturday night will be Stephen Lyons. He's bringing his band up from Philadelphia. Stephen is also an accomplished Shakespearean actor. What we say in the theater trade is he's a belter. So he can really sing, and he is a wonderful independent artist. Again, this, this um, event, Long Beach Rocks New York, 
does feature and support established music as well as independent artists. After him will be Canadian born singer Heidi Little, who has, sings, I would say, in the style of Alanis Morissette or something in that vein, very heartfelt, passionate kind of music. Sunday will be the project, a Long Island based band, uh, featuring my good friend and buddy, uh, Lucille Morris, who is, will be playing her flute, and the band will be doing a tribute to music of Jethro Tull, which I think has never been done before. After that will be Bobby Rondinelli, uh, Brooklyn born. Bobby is now coming out of Suffolk County. Fabulous drummer for uh, Black Sabbath, Fog Hat, Blue Oyster Cult, um, and he'll be bringing his band, which should be uh, fantastic. Uh, after him is Anne Klein, the billboard artist Anne Klein, with her twangy uh, power trio. And after that will be my own band, Turnpike Joe, and the Traffic Jam playing music of the 60s, 70s, and originals. All right. That is an excellent lineup. Oh my god, so much great music. Do you guys like rock and roll? Anybody here in this room? Yeah. yeah. I think Long Beach Fun loves rock, rock and roll, and uh, it's going to be a great uh, thing to have once a year. This uh, Long Beach Rocks R O X X. Look it up on Google Festival. Uh, there's a Facebook page, and uh, there's a URL that is www.longbeachroxxny.com. Ah, Long Beach Yes, so that's that's going to be amazing. Uh, I'd also like to, uh, yeah, that was just great. You know, Jay Bird is a phenomenal musician. She's also helped with some uh, master classes when we were doing that series, uh, the all ages classes at the Hub. And, uh, you know, maybe one day we'll work like that again in the future. Um, I just want to mention also, we, you know, the last few weeks have been like, you know, we're getting into a new season, things are changing, um, venues and gigs, uh, you know, like I'm very happy to be playing at Nick's Tuscan Grill again this Saturday, I want to shout that out, if you want some great Italian food, you want to come down and hear some great music with me, and uh, the great Carmonica, Michael Carmen, and uh, special guests, Victor Perez has been coming by um, on the trombone, and other people are sitting in, it's great to see people like Matt Leighton from Groundswell coming out to our gigs and sitting in, and all, all of our friends, Mark Klein and everybody, such talent. Um, some of these players also were working with me at Panini's and Bikini's recently, and I'd like to thank them also for providing some food tonight. Um, Panini Bikini, they, they're they great. We had an, a great time at Irish Day. I don't know if I told you in the last show, but Irish Day, my band played, and we're, we're also playing that weekend, Arts in the Plaza, the same weekend as the Long Beach Rocks Festival, Benoit and the Long Beach All-Stars, so check us out. Um, Elizabeth Gruber, fantastic job. Thank you. You have a future in music. And uh, what else, Hallie? Um, I was just wondering, sitting next to Joanne, I know you've dealt with so many musicians in your career, you work with musicians. You heard young Elizabeth, she's gonna be 13 years old soon. What advice would you give to her just starting out in her young music career? Don't give up. <laughs> do not give up. If you feel this to be such a passion from within, do not give up. <laughs> Stay in school. <laughs> As you get older, stay away from substance abuse. Do not compromise your craft. Both of my children are professionally in the arts. And I've always told them, do not compromise your craft. Take professional lessons if you can. And again, don't, don't give up. <laughs> All right, now before we, uh, I want to bring Steve and Carol in for a second. Uh, but before I do, Benoit, you know, Elizabeth is a friend of Jack Plunkett, who is made quite an impact on our show, Sing Imagine. What do you think of the idea, seeing Elizabeth's talent, having Jack Plunkett and Elizabeth doing a duet? <coughs> that would be phenomenal, that would be great. You know, it's, it's always great to have uh, the youth work together, you know, especially when you have a personal connection to people. And, um, you know, that would be great. You know, if there's anything I could do to help out to make that happen, I will. We're going to be recording radio spots for the different advertisers in our show, like Ribeye Brothers and, uh, you know, like the different different uh, sponsors in our show. So maybe she could be a part of that. Maybe there's a little jingle we can come up with or something like that. So maybe that could be incorporated. And by the way, I want to let everybody know uh, my monthly column, bi-monthly column, is going to be in the Herald tomorrow. And I'm writing about next week's show. It's going to be a huge show. We're going to be broadcasting from the VFW in Long Beach. And we're doing a tribute to a real Long Beach icon and legend who recently passed away, Jack Raiden. We're going to have his entire family there. Let's see, six or seven uh, 
sons and daughters, all his grandchildren, nieces and nephews, plus Jack was a de decorated Army veteran, so a lot of veterans are going to be there, so it's going to be quite a show next week as we do a tribute to a Long Beach icon legend, Jack Raiden, and that's going to be fittingly at the uh, VFW in Long Beach next week, and the article will appear in uh, tomorrow's Herald. And Steve Carroll, let's bring Steve Carroll on. Steve is a psychologist here in Long Beach. Uh, works for uh, chapters and Steve this show you saw us with a suicide prevention group you saw the Long Island Toy Lending Center in Young Life what was your thoughts as we brought in three amazing youth groups on the show this week well Howie I think it's amazing to have these groups here because I think um, working with youth um, from my career and my professional work it's been such a um, challenge to have organizations like the ones we brought on today to kind of advocate and support youth and their families because with the ongoing recession, with the ongoing uh, divorce rate the way it is, and the ongoing pressures of life, I think the youth in our communities here in Long Beach, Nassau County, Suffolk County, New York State kind of linger behind and I think some people and some kids don't get an opportunity to kind of branch out musically like young Elizabeth or people that are um, want to express themselves through art, through poetry, through write, or through academic, through, or through sports. And sometimes kids get lost in the shuffle. So I think the three groups that you brought on is so very, very important. I know all the work that we've done on the show for suicide prevention, all the different walks and the supportive agencies out there, it's so needed. So I think the community in Long Beach coming together and supporting the youth is so important. And I think the work is uh, just the beginning. I think it also goes to extended families, how they can treat or work with their youth if, if they're suffering from depression or um, different things that may cause uh, trauma. So I think continued efforts and advocacy for these groups is so important. All right, and uh, we heard from uh, Anthony from Long Island Toy uh, Learning Center with Children with Disabilities. And uh, Anthony, come over here for one second. I want to ask you a question. Let's, uh, let's ask Anthony a question. Anthony. Do you like movies? Yes. What's your favorite movie? Anthony, what's your favorite movie? My favorite movie is... Uh, Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump, run! All right, all right, excellent. All right, because we're going to take a break, and after the break, you're going to hear from our resident uh, movie reviewer Rocco Pasa for me every week. Rocco does a movie review, and like you, he overcame a disability. So Rocco should be a great inspiration. So Anthony, are you excited to hear from Rocco? Yes. You say go Rocco. Go Rocco. All right. Excellent. All right. We are going to take a break. We are coming to you live from the MLK Center. We'll hear from the MLK Center a little later in the show. But coming up, Rocco Pasafume is going to do a movie review. And tonight, he's removing a reviewing a dynamic movie named Argo. All right. So coming up after the break, Rocco Pasafume will be on the show. Coming to you live from the MLK Center here in Long Beach. I am Halftime Howie. This is broadcasting on the beach. What Halftime Howie coming to you from Long Island's first and oldest radio station, 1240 AM. W G B B.